Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing these videos back to back. I wanted to talk about the social proof aspect of music and how it's just fucking stupid. And it makes no sense in terms of having any objective opinion, how some sheep or herd mentality into uh, listening to what you like, either whether it's on the news or movies or anything validated by Rotten Tomatoes or validated by reviews or likes or anything of that nature. I really want there to be a platform that completely just ostracizes that. Because you can just throw a bunch of fake numbers, or even if they're real, if they're validated in some way, you're going to give it a little bit more attention just because it has more numbers, more views, even if it sucks balls. And I'm not saying a majority of things are like that, but some things that are propped up artificially can leak into the system. And I feel like that's what a lot of record labels do. And I'm not saying that. I'm not hating because there's a lot of good music. There's a lot of good bands. And it isn't like a thing where I'm just like, oh, this sucks and this sucks and this whatever. But the social proof aspect, like why should it matter how many people on Instagram you have? Or why should it matter how many views on YouTube? It, like I have shit and in instrumentals saved and bookmarked from YouTube. Obviously, you have to like dig a little bit more that – it isn't so much of a popularity contest. It's like this instrumental is objectively sweet, but if it had as many views as everything else, it would be on the same platform. You know what I mean? So it's almost just like it's just this herd or sheep mentality that's like, oh, well, they all think it's good, so I think it's good too. And wasn't Spotify doing something where they were throwing like fake artists onto playlists just to get like stream revenue? That was a thing. That was like in the news or someone wrote an article about that and like there was nothing about the artist. There's no backstory about this ambient artist. That was happening at that time. And I'm, I'm not talking about this in like a negative way. It's just don't be – just because you see everyone else doing it, it's popular, and it's, it's, it's edgy, it's, it's, it's new, it's fresh, doesn't mean it's like the best thing. So when you see all these these movies from Hollywood, all this bullshit like from like Rotten Tomatoes, everyone's saying this is like the best movie ever, and like and then they, and then people who don't even know the actors or the directors, they start defending it like as if these directors or actors or these musicians give a shit about them, you know? Like like have you ever heard any of them directly say thank you to any of the people watching? With some fake uh, philanthropy thing that Bono would do that that goes to that teeters off into something else somehow benefiting him no you don't see any of that and i'm not saying it doesn't exist but for the majority of the artists of of these people making the movies they don't give two shits dude they care about that money they care about the record pleasing the record labels all those executives and pushing out that that bs message that that's perpetuated all throughout that's also why i like the lo-fi because there's no it's not like it has that catchy beat with the lyrics that are – it has no lyrics. So it's like it can be a beat, but it doesn't have any sort of like message that like goes like infiltrates your mind and your subconscious. I think that that stuff happens too. You can call me crazy or not. I don't really care. But yeah, just stop looking around or sit, just try to find the music that you like. I was just listening to – because I've been just doing other genres because if you keep going like – if I keep going lo-fi, 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 rap, lo-fi, rap – it just drives me crazy. It just drives me crazy doing one genre. So I'm listening to a lot of different things. I'm just going through YouTube. That's where a lot of people find the music too. Also, they're not going to go to Spotify and they're not going to like, you know, look through the list or whatever. They go to YouTube because it has like the best algorithms through Google. That's why YouTube is very, very important for your musicians. But I just go through that and I give everything an equal chance. Or at least I try to. I, that's my intention going into it. So like if something has like 1,000 views, I'm like, okay, I'll listen to it. I don't know who this person is. They could blow up at any time or they could never. Like there's this thing called like Ghetto Misery. I was listening to this instrumental. I was like, how does this not have like a billion views? <laughs> you know? It's just everything. And it's all about how much effort the artist had to promote it as well. So it's all these weird factors that go into the popularity of the song itself like it did it did it get on a playlist did it get a lot of views did it get promo, promo, promoted excuse me by a record label and 
I just want something that just has everything playing field. There's no, there's no reviews. There's no hype. There's no bullshit. It's just raw music, and there's no like like button. I feel like like but the like buttons are just a huge manipulation tactic, and it also keeps everyone in line. Have you noticed that? Everyone's like worried about getting negative feedback, so they're all like extra happy. I think it's just weird. It's, it's just like a weird reality, and that's why I, I just put like a video up about like how to just disengage, go on to the real work. Cause none of this shit matters, dude. And I had this other uh, person, and he has like, I mean, there's just people in like Detroit rappers that could just sell out a crowd, but they have no online presence because they don't care about it. They know that it's phony and that it's not real. I mean, it would be cool if they could uh, do both. Maybe they don't know how, maybe they don't care. Maybe they have different intentions with their music, but I'm just sick of everyone looking around and being like, oh, like, this show's cool because everyone else is watching it. Or, you know, the NFL, everyone's watching that on Sunday. So it must be popular. It must be something that I'm doing. Just stop following. I'm not saying being a, like a trendsetter or a pioneer with what you do, but stop do, looking around what everyone else is doing and just, like, trying to do that. So it's like, think about, like, what, what sports – is like I used to be really into sports, but like now I'm more interested in like the athleticism and things of that nature. But it's just like you work 40 hours a week or whatever, Monday to Friday, distract you, distract you, distract you, distract you, pay it to the man, pay it to the man, you know. And then Saturday and Sunday, you have more distractions, but it's like through entertainments, through all these other things, like a big circus, like it's like a gladiator. Uh, syndrome, you know, where it gives it gives the people something to to cheer for, but it's on all day. You know, it starts with like soccer in the morning, and then it's football, and then it's you know, it's just all day. It's just like another distraction, and so you're basically you're just distracting yourself in a different way. So all these things are distractions, and just just find out what what music that you like, what shows you like, what you think the true message is behind what they're saying. If they're actually give a fuck about you or give a fuck about moving, I don't know, humanity forward. If that sounds, I'm not trying to sound like too like meta or, or anything of that nature, but like, are they trying to like really give value or is it all just fake? Cause it's like all these philanthropy organizations and all the, all these things that are just so fake. And you can just see it. If you actually are paying, now people are paying attention. It's like, dude, did he really say that? And everything contradicts one uh, one another because everything's like indexed on YouTube. It's like, oh, you didn't say that. Like, I can look up what you said at that point. Exactly what they're trying to do to us. That's why a lot of, a lot of the censorship is happening. So, um, guys, hopefully that's helpful. Just stop looking around. Find out what you think's cool, and it, it doesn't matter if it's like uh, if it's big or small because the the right thing is going to move forward. It's, it's going to surface in the end, whether it be in our lifetime, whether it be in the next lifetime, whether it be retroactively, I don't know. So uh, guys, hopefully that's helpful. That was my eight minute rant and uh, take care. Have a great week and uh, I'll see you next time.